into the year 2020. This has already been earmarked as the most challenging year of the 21st century. We hope you and your family are hale and hearty. The campus will definitely want you back soon to bring back to its vibrant self. While we live in times where humankind possess most advanced science and technology, a virus invisible to the naked eye has massively shaken education, healthcare and economical structures worldwide. This should serve us as a reminder that as much progress as we make in science and research, humanity will continue to face changes and it is upon us to prioritize the factors relevant to the situation. Good evening everyone, I am Azde Kabra. And I am Moni Shatangam. So Moni, why are we here? We are here for the most awaited launch of the new online semester of Kumariguru College of Technology. Our staffs and students have been working tirelessly to build in a new progressive online learning platform for the student community. So Adi, what do you think about online classes? Hmm. Online classrooms are potentially powerful teaching and learning arena in which new practices and new relationships make significant changes to learning. Right. In order to harness this power, the faculties must not only be equipped with technology but also shift ways in terms of developing new material. This in turn will affect the student community to control their own learning environment. To begin with, we have a special address from Mr. Sujit Kumar, founder Martin Foundation, on the topic Reinventing Yourself and Your Career in the Wake of New Normal. Fellow KCDNs at Coimbatore and wherever you are, I mean, I should not say from Coimbatore, rather. Um, if somebody had told me that we will inaugurate a new semester virtually, um, about six months back, nobody would have literally believed it. But uh, I think this is, looks like to be the new normal. Uh, we start a new semester from our bedroom, from our living room or from your library, wherever you're working from and whichever part of the country you are from. So this is something which is truly unprecedented and seems to be looking like a new normal. So welcome, a uh, hearty welcome. Uh, my name is Sujit and I'm from Martram Foundation. I also work with Infosys as uh, an HR business leader. I've been several times to KCT and I really look forward to the day to come to your lovely campus and to meet you guys in, in person. Um, I, I use the word unprecedented because this is something that uh, none of us have ever experienced, not just uh, students of your generation or to the generation that I belong. Even I don't think my father or grandfather would have seen something like this. The last time something like this has happened was uh, way back in 1919. So literally this, this group of students, I call them the COVID batch. Now you have a big, big story to tell when, when you grow uh, uh, in, in stature, when you have children, you will have a you can actually tell them how you started uh, online education as part of your regular curriculum. So that way it is an unprecedented batch. Um, I, I was actually stunned at the kind of efforts which has been taken by KCT, led by my good friend Shankar. Uh, they sent me a small brochure about uh, this particular program. Um, it, it's not just about taking classes online. You know, I think a group of faculty and students have come together. Uh, they have spent over 256 hours is what I'm told to put this structure in place. And that's, that's fantabulous. Because online class is not just about putting a camera in front of, uh, in, in front of the faculty and, and, and taking classes. It can be very, very boring. But having said that, please give it some time for your faculty uh, to get tuned to this new, um, new, 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 new normal. Because it's not going to be easy. It's not very easy. And uh, I, I've been a public speaker and I love being on stage. In, in the last four or five months, uh, I've done over 80, 85 webinars. And this is not a model that even I am very comfortable about. Because it's literally I'm speaking to a screen, hoping that the audience on the other side will be listening. So you can imagine uh, the situation your faculty will be in. So I, my only request is to give time to your faculty so that they, they do this trial and error and uh, make this work. Now, this is a very tough situation the go and there's a nice saying, when the going gets tough, I think people actually pull up their socks and, and, and give, it their, uh, give it their best best during these tough times. Now, there are two ways in which you can handle this tough situation. Now, especially for the first years are going to come in, it's going to be a sea change. Uh, for the second and third year, it's, it's kind of okay. But I think the final year students will be under enormous amount of stress because they have to finish the next two semesters and hopefully at least one semester online and if the situation improves the next semester, they hopefully they'll be in college. But I think the big, big question they all have 
will have is uh, what about placements and uh, is, is a market going to be great and all this stuff. So my request uh, to whether you are a first year student or a second year, third year or a fourth year student, take this time extremely seriously. This is definitely not the time to relax. In fact, you have to put in your maximum effort, give it your 200% to ensure that every single minute of uh, whatever time that you're going to spend online is spent productively. Because I've been interacting with a lot of students. Some of them are taking it very, very lightly. I can assure you, you now people are going to take it very lightly, are going to face the music sooner or later. So it is about giving it your best. There are only two ways of it from here on. So one group which will go and give their best. The second group which is going to take lightly, like for example, online class, who knows whether you are present or there, you know, present in the class or not. And the faculty will be there and he is going to shout his throat out. Um, literally, you can switch off the video and do whatever you want. So the choice is always yours. But my request is, please attend your classes sincerely and honestly, which means uh, my request is even to, if you're coming to the class, uh, online class, uh, come to the online class as if you're going to college, which means come well prepared. Don't get at the last minute and come and sit in front of the classroom. It's not going to do any good to you. I, I, I might as well suggest you don't attend the class. But if you're coming into the class, give it your 100% because the next six months, it's going to be really, really crucial. So that's my first request. Second, I think online is here to stay. Even if COVID goes and uh, we are back to normal, I think it is going to be a blended learning from henceforth. People are getting acclimatized with um, the online module. So I think it's very, very important that we get tuned to the digital style of, of learning. So which means you will have classroom sessions you will have faculty giving you more of online uh, courses and curriculum and you have to do a lot of self-learning. Uh, if you notice in the last four or five months, a lot of these MOOC websites, including Khan Academy, Udemy, Coursera, all these guys had thrown up their courses at, at a phenomenal rate um, at, at about 95, 96. Some, some people have even given 97, 98% off. It's a small token amount for you to pay for a course and get yourself certified. Um, I have done about seven or eight certifications in the last six months. So I just want to ask you a simple question and you don't need to answer, but just reflect on this question. When was the last time you learned something for the first time? I repeat the question. When was the last time you learned something for the first time? So the answer is very, 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 very important. Um, if you have not done anything new in the last several months, please pull up your socks. It's, it's high time you start doing something about it. So students who are just going to stick to the syllabus, Sticking to the faculty notes and how am I going to score marks will find it extremely difficult to find placements and God forbid if placement numbers are going to come down uh, next year, um, then it's only the best of the brightest which is going to get hired. So which means you really need to be there and for which don't stop with just your classroom learning. Go and register yourself in some of these MOOC websites. There are courses, some number of courses which is thrown open to students and make the best use of it. That's number one. Number two, the need to self-learn, I already mentioned, is going to be very, very high. And because you're going to spend more time digitally, um, I think it's high time that during your free time, you stay away from the digital medium as much as possible. Now, uh, today, this one device can cause a huge ruin you know, in, in our lifestyle. And it's very, very important that you digitally detox yourself. Now, I just want to leave you with three, four messages and with which I want to uh, move on. Number one, is this the right time to set goals? If you have not set goals, please set one right now. And when I'm asking you to set goals, it is, it is wonderful if you can take a small notebook and write it down in a, in, a, in a piece of notebook. What is that you want to achieve before you pass out of KCT? It could be a placement in your dream company. It could be a higher education opportunity elsewhere. It could be about going and joining somewhere, which is your, uh, which is your most sought after uh, you know, experience that you want to create for yourself. Or it could be anything for that matter. But just set your goals and work towards it. And when you set goals, there could be multiple rabbits that you might want to catch. But people who chase multiple rabbits don't get any. So it's, it's high time you just focus on one and go after it no matter what. Even if you're tired, take a break, but go and chase back the same rabbit. Number one. Number two, focus. Now, this is an area where I struggled big time and it's not just and it's not just people in my generation. The younger generation has a far lesser potential to focus on something. Now, time and again in the last six, seven months, because I have restricted myself to the room that I work in. This is a room that I spend about a solid 10, 12 hours every day. I have kind of 
uh, identified that one of my biggest weakness was not able to focus on a creative work that I want to do. So in the last four or five months, I've kind of mastered it and I want to share that simple secret with you. Now, when you sit for a class, right, where, where it's an online class or your faculty is going to take it, I think it's very important that you stay away from a distraction and focus on it. Okay, now it could be a project work that you want to get in. It could be some creative writing that you want to get in. Uh, or it could be a blog that you're writing. Anything that involves deep focus, stay away from distraction. So I, I kind of wrote it down in a small piece of paper. What are the things that distracts me from work? And one of the biggest one was my mobile phone. So which means I, I keep getting flurry of WhatsApp messages. 99% of these WhatsApp messages of absolute no use. It's some forward, some good morning, good afternoon, good evening messages. And in Tamil, they always say, they do keep getting these forwards, right? Now, only then God will bless you. And we also keep forwarding such uh, crappy stuff all over again. So reprioritize. I'm not saying stay away from it, but set aside some time. When you want to do focused work, keep that distraction out. This is my topmost distraction. Keep it out and just focus. Number one, say no to multitasking. We, we, we live in this myth that this younger generation is great at multitasking, which means I can listen to music and do some stuff. I can watch TV and still read. No, there is no... Psychology tells you over and over again that there's nothing called multitasking. You just shift from one area to another. And whenever you shift from one area to another, it easily takes about 15 to 18 minutes for you to come back to normal. So if you take a particular uh, task, just focus on that and finish it. I, I think what we call as deep focus is very, very critical. That's number, number two, staying away from distraction. Try and see if you can build some new habit, my dear friends. I think people who are all successful in life are people who are very structured in the way they live. And you, you can say it's very boring. Uh, that's how the youngsters call it. I also believe, what is this life? Getting up at five o'clock, doing this at six o'clock. And if you look at some of the most successful people, they exactly know what needs to be done. Saurav Ganguly, the former captain of India, recently spoke to our uh, Infosys employees about a week back. And he was talking about how he used to manage different team members. Um, let's say tomorrow is a, is a one day international. And uh, he says Rahul Dravid was the most organized in the, in the team. So if you ask Rahul Dravid the previous day, what will you do tomorrow? Rahul Dravid will, apparently will tell him exactly what time you will get up. After getting up, what will he do? Um, how his kid bag will be you know, kept in order? How he will eat only what has already been pre-decided? He will grab these two apples before the match. And when you come into the dressing room, you find his kit alone will be like sparkling clean. On the other end, he said, if I have to go and say that to Yuvraj Singh, I have to knock his door on the previous night to remind him that tomorrow there is a cricket match. So you, you do find two different styles. But in the cricket field, they did deliver. They did deliver their, their results. Now the choice is yours, whether you want to be a Yuvraj Singh or a Rahul Dravid. But being a Rahul Dravid has its own unique, distinct advantage, which means it brings in a lot of structure into your work. So what is that new habit that you have developed over, over this last four or five months and something that you would want to do and developing new habits, if you want to develop a new habit, they say that when you want to develop a new habit, the first part of it will be very, very tough. Okay? If it is easy, then it's not a good habit. Right? The first half will be tough. The, the second part will be messier. But the third part will be like extremely, extremely proactive. So I want to give you an example. I'm into sports. I was very active. I was in very active sports. And my way of working out was always about playing a sport. I am okay to play a game of volleyball or badminton or cricket or whatever. Hitting the gym or running or walking alone is not my cup of tea. Now, my wife always asked me, why don't you walk? In the corona situation, there's hardly any games that you can play. Why don't you jog or walk or whatever, which I didn't kind of like it. I then came across this habit uh, called habit stacking, which is about merging two habits together, right? Um, and say that one is a desirable habit, the other is a habit that you want to develop, how you can marry this both. And in the process, the outcome is brilliant. So you can see a small library back here. I love reading, but uh, with the kind of work schedule that I have, I realized that I was not having the right time or the right mindset to sit and read. And whenever I start reading within a few pages, I feel tired and I'm not able to complete the book. So I took a count. Last year, the whole of last year, I managed to read about 15 books. But then I came across this uh, habit stacking uh, formula and then I said, why not read audio books? So I downloaded Audible. I started buying books as audio books and I now I've combined it with walking. So what I do is very simple. 60 minutes of walking, 
and in that 60 minutes i don't listen to music i listen to audio books now sometimes that 60 minute becomes 75 minutes sometimes 90 minutes not because i love to walk because i want to complete that chapter that i'm reading so in the process i've started reading a lot more just for the record the last month alone i managed to finish about 11 books and i have set a target for myself that this year i'm going to complete at least 50 to 55 books now it's a very simple lifestyle change that i, I that that i just made so similarly it could be anything and that's where i want to leave you with this formula a very simple formula called 90 is to 90 is to 1 so what is this very simple every day will you be able to devote 90 minutes of your time exclusively for the next 90 days for an activity one activity of your choice right so it's very simple 90 minutes every day for the next 90 days for an activity one activity of your choice so i have picked up writing as that one activity so every day i i close myself into this room no distractions i write for 90 minutes and what happens in 90 days i think i will have content for about two books which can get published it can be a blog you can you want to draw you want to paint it can be anything or you want to just learn music through coursera or youtube or whatever but that 90 minutes please ensure that nobody disturbs you no it, it is just time for yourself because i think the future belongs to people who have the ability to reinvent and reskill themselves my difference so i think that is what is going to be very very critical uh, you are truly blessed that you are studying in a world class institutions uh, institution like kct not many of our young kids get that opportunity and i don't think you should you should just leave it out i don't think a uh, placement should be a really a cause of concern or a job should be a cause of concern i think what should worry you is are you getting your dream offer are you getting what you really want and for that you will have to really really work hard i just want to leave you with a simple thought why are you getting yourself educated what is the power of education the power of education my dear friends is not about putting a be or a btech degree in the background right that's not what it is all about it's not about getting these dream offers or whatever in the same institution that you study i have my own foundation students who are studying there and i just want to quote one story and that will tell you what's the power of education um there is this girl called rani devi in my foundation i run something called as matra where about thousand kids get free education shankar has provided graciously very many seats for my children to study in kumaraguru college of liberal arts and starting this year in kumaraguru engineering as well rani devi uh, comes from a remote village uh, near tiruvannamalai um, she used to walk to school every day for 16 kilometers between 8 standard and 12 standard for four consecutive years she used to walk up and down 16 kilometers to go to school and she used to um, work part-time at home she she used to roll bds okay if she rolls 2000 bds she makes about 75 rupees a month and um, i used to i when i met her for the first time and i shook hands it didn't feel like i'm shaking hands with a girl because this this finger was almost as hard as a stone so i shook hands and i asked her you know and that girl tells me anana bd roll her mother says she was the only girl who used to go to this neighboring village walking up to 16 kilometers every day the world, the village is filled with alcoholics. Nobody has anyone crossed eight standard in this village. And she's the only person who decides to go there. The mother tells me daily and the Pundu Vidi Gauravarikana, tension Lerno, sir. I used to be so tense that my girl should come back safely. Now, what did she score in a 12th standard? Max 200, physics 200 out of 200, and chemistry 200 out of 200. All three majors she scored center. And there's no power in her house. There's no electricity in her house. So when I asked her, Emma, currently one of the customer, she gave me one of the most beautiful answer for focus. She said, Anna, light in this now. When I see light, when there's a tube light, I can see a whole lot of things. But all that I have is a small you know, uh, kerosene lamp. And in this kerosene lamp, what matters to me the most is what is visible. I have my book on my left side and BD on my right side. I keep rolling the BDs on my right finger and keep moving my book on the left finger. And that's all that matters. Rani today is pursuing computer science engineering from a deemed university in Chennai. And it's not about Rani doing BE. Two years back, her mother called me saying that there is this uh, function in her village. The village panchayat wants to honor her. And they invited me to the function. And she said, please come with Rani. And when I went with Rani, it was indeed a sight to watch. The, the bus does not enter her village. It's a very remote village. It stops about a kilometer away from her village. And we walk down in, inside the village. And when you walk down, the entire village comes out to receive Rani every time she comes from the hospital. Small little girls come, in, come and hug Rani. 
um, all about six standards, seven standards. Some are in ninth and tenth right now. They just come and hug her. About thirty-six of them. They, I mean, these, these children come to her uh, her house, sit and talk to her, asking her how the college is, what they should do next. And I was I was actually stunned because she's the only girl who has completed twelve standard. And then her mother tells me, because of one Rani who decided to walk sixteen kilometers, go to a school, and currently pursuing engineering, she has inspired thirty-six young girls from the same village. To pursue higher education, which means when I say higher education, not BE or BTech, I'm talking about nine standard to twelve standard. And these nine, these thirty-six children are now taking a band from this village to go to that particular neighboring village to study. And that's the power of education, my dear friends. We are a privileged lot. We are a privileged lot. Don't just think that you are educating yourself merely for a degree or just for a job. You have an opportunity to inspire so many people. It could be your domestic maid's daughter. It could be that auto wala's son, or it could be anybody who's looking at you. Be an inspiration. Do well. Uh, my best wishes for a great academic year. Wishing you good luck and Godspeed. And it was such a pleasure meeting you all. And hopefully, I, I'll, I'll make sure that I meet you guys in person at the next best opportunities. Thanking you and good luck. That was indeed an insightful talk, awakening to the new normal. Now I request our principal, Dr. J. Srinivasan, to launch the new augmented learning platform. My greetings to everyone. hope you are all doing good it's my pleasure to connect with you all virtually today the covid-19 pandemic has altered our routine bringing in a pause for a new beginning with many changes evolving all over the world as well as in the nation the transformation is evident in the field of education also the new education policy has set objectives trends and as paved pathway for the future as it is also expected to result in a major overhaul of the higher education system a team of senior members and academic leaders of kct are deeply probing the policy to implement novel aspects for enhancing the opportunities to the students and society from the month of march onwards students have been engaged virtually through online classes online cat exams uh, virtual events and the programs in the previous semester apart from this students have also uh, learnt uh, new courses through online platforms such as nptel coursera and others as we move forward to the next academic year 2020 2021 based on our foresight and experience we have brought in a number of proactive measures to improve the learnability and uh, gamifying the experience of students and to bring bring in the uh, entire class under good uh, system kct has heavily invested in time money manpower and technological interventions interventions including microsoft partnership and uh, the new student erp system kite this will bring number of our students faculty parents as well as the well wishers into a single forum for enhanced learning and good connectivity quality of these products supplemented by the innovations in teaching and learning by the project germinate will no doubt provide us a unique experience to all of us a team of faculty members and students have been working very hard for the past 3 months to be able to get where we are today of course let us be ready to move forward with this exciting new journey today i am here to present you all core kumaraguru online education which is going to be an online blended learning platform for all the students of kct as we envision to be more creative and progressive in our teaching methods we understand that the prominent focus areas 
in the learning trail of any student pertains to the holistic combination of attributes like course design, active experiential learning, the assessment models, the student wellness, and the engagement in co-curricular extracurricular activities aided by a good administrative process and training material development. Code will unfold the fascinating experience of learning virtually even during these uncertain times. We'll be aiming to reach our proposed vision of connecting every KCTN for a seamless knowledge transfer and learning experience through the exclusive platform Code. And I look forward to a greater partnership and involvement from all students. Thank you. Best wishes. Thank you, sir. With Kumaraguru Online Education Code being launched, it is important we know the team behind this platform. Moni, what is a team according to you? The strength of a team is every member and the strength of every member is the team. Right. So who is the team behind Code? Team Germinate is the task force behind Code. Now, let us look at the story behind Code. The process of learning is like a seed germinating. It's full of life and possibilities. Code has been designed to create such a learning opportunity for all the students. Code is an online platform that is designed to give a, a seamless learning experience to all the students. Most of the instructors start planning their courses with a focus on content, like text and readings, which the students are supposed to complete in time. Sometimes, it contributes to an effort to cover all the contents within a limited time. We have come up with an engaging course design idea like instruction material, graded assignment and synchronous session. By learning from domains as varied as cognitive neuroscience, human-computer interaction, researchers have enabled us to articulate and develop scientific understanding of learning and cognition. The team has developed a user-friendly 360-degree handbook which is best suited for a student as well for the faculty to use, explore and understand all the possible assessment which they can take over in the course period. We have taken utmost care uh, in bringing in the assessments best suited for FOMATO and SOMATO. All this assessment will focus on the learning levels of the student and it's not going to be a process of memorizing. It's going to completely give pleasure for all the students who is undergoing the course. We as a team uh, looked into the various international assessments which can be incorporated in online teaching learning process. For sure, assessment is not going to be a pain, it's going to be a pleasure. We, the student wellness team, believe that professional development is a collective resource, not a personal perspective. Peer engagement forges powerful link between teacher learning and student growth. We have combined the benefits of peer engagement with teaching with regards to assessment, interaction and so forth. By conducting researches on what would be the most suitable method, we will be able to deliver knowledge effectively and in a continuous manner. We rigorously work towards finding the best ways of ways to help students overcome this challenge and get the most from the new normal. Among all the available tools in this era of technology, it is essential for us as an institution to choose the most appropriate platform for receiving and sharing knowledge with regard to academics. We at Training and Materials Development Team strive to assist the management by choosing the most suitable mode of communication to the students in the demonstration of software used and adoption of techniques. We have come up with formats for effective learning activities including in-video polls, survey, quiz, gamification, and many more such activities, thereby improving the learning skills, knowledge, and presentation materials. We strive for excellence and a smooth structure for the administration implementations occurring for the upcoming academic year, which includes flexible timetable and efficient allotment of role for the faculty members who's going to handle the entire semester within three cycles. 
वी आर डेवलपिंग स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मेट्स फॉर टाइम टेबलिंग प्रोसेस फॉर स्टूडेंट्स एंड फैकल्टी फॉर एफेक्टिव टीचिंग लर्निंग एंड आल्सो वी आर क्रिएटिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन एकेडमिक कैलेंडर It is quite fascinating to see a student staff team with different talents, abilities, experience and backgrounds come together for the purpose of online learning. What is augmented learning, Moni? Augmented learning is the new emerging trend in terms of industry and also in the world. Okay, so let us listen to evolving into augmented learning through our faculties, administrators and students. Education world over has gone through a extraordinary pause like most other things in the planet. I don't think anybody knew how to respond. Certainly certain cultures and countries and educational ecosystems were far more ready to shift to a more virtual online possibility. But nobody imagined a complete virtual ecosystem. And India was anyway in an extraordinary complexity because we had and we have many different indias one that is a connected india an aware india an energetic india and an aware aspirational india now as it is for the indian educational system the professor and the teacher it was challenging to answer to a diversity of needs and opportunities in one classroom and this pandemic brought in enormous complexity even more now there were two options one was to react and i think the nation as a whole every institution many schools went to a reactionary stage where they were trying to see how they can answer this current problem and we too did it we had many learnings and there were challenges but then we knew to start the next whole year at the next new semester we can't just react and we have to respond to this challenge and is there an opportunity also in this challenge should we respond certainly we should not react but maybe there is an opportunity to reimagine and that reimagination started with many of us individually going out and studying various other potential filled opportunities and models but then we felt that nothing like having our own team a fantastic team of about 40 professors faculty members and about 20 students who got together as a task force called project germinate and this project germinate has been limitlessly working passionately and and with so much of in-depth involvement studying scanning for models around india for models around the world and now we have an idea we have an understanding and what is that the idea is not to say one thing works well for an indian context for a kumaraguru context for your context and our context i think we have to have a blended model a model that will pick and borrow many things that work and some things that are new code is the new opportunity it is a platform it is certainly a new normal for us kumaraguru online education is going to be a new start for all of us put together because this is exciting this is exciting because there is equal opportunity it is virtual it is synchronous it is asynchronous and builds in so many other new models into this possibility now what is going to be different in this certainly we are not together you are not together with your friends and we are all in different places but technology brings this together now this is not something new for many of you or in fact many of us because we have lived in so many other ways like this we've got entertained we have been shopping we have been playing games we've been watching th- stuff now this is slightly different where this calls not only for your engagement but participation it calls for your involvement now there is a way that we can watch netflix and get entertained now the platform that we will use called code cannot be like that now this has to be like 
a gamified education where you have to play along because the game is together because the learning has to happen and the impact has to happen with you and to make this whole thing better your institution has made sure we have other supportive platforms i'm sure you've noticed that kite the new educational sort of erp which is helping us build this whole ecosystem together and make it smarter has been launched and we are very excited that we've partnered with microsoft as a whole for the institution microsoft teams is one of the most powerful platforms uh, to use for engagement communication and also enablement of education now with kite as a platform of supportive technology with a platform of microsoft teams and the model of code i'm sure we will not just react or respond but we will reimagine this possibility now what is this new possibility is extremely important for us to understand that both of us are learners everybody in this side of the screen and that side of the screen are going to be new learners there has to be a sense of excitement there has to be learners both sides and we have to work together this game has to be played together because friends i want to tell you that the other side of the pandemic once this comes to a the pause comes to an end and we restart let's not forget that the economy is going to be impacted like never before your future our country our economy the global force will have to restart all over again which means that we all have to be skilled we all have to be knowledgeable we all have to be ready much more to face the world so like never before some of your subjects a lot of your learning and the skills you develop has to get in depth i want to close with uh, saying that all of us are very eager to get back to work you are eager to get back to college i am eager to get back to campus and certainly it should happen very soon but i want to tell you that let us use this time use this time to learn the new normal to learn the new possibility and also become very different kind of learners learners who are engaging with the whole concept and we as kctians will come out of this whole pandemic as more technologically aware as more involved in our knowledge uh, knowledge spaces and certainly as people who are not survivors but ready to work ahead i want to ask you to be involved with this process because so many things for the last 8 years in this institution we have done things together i have enjoyed partnering with many of you and your seniors and we have made many impossible new amazing things now this is another thing that we can't do without you we are learning we want to learn fast we want to make sure that we are impactful but this impact has to happen let's play the game together code is a platform code is a playing ground where knowledge is at the center where facilitators teachers and others all of us on on one side and you on the other side will have to play the game together not as 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 two sides but the game has to be played together and hopefully all of us you me our institution and the whole country will win together with us moving into the next generation of education i welcome you into this platform your feedback your support and your help in building this is going to be very critical in the next many weeks i'm sure you'll get to know many exciting components of this and we look forward to uh, building this as we go so welcome best wishes into the next academic year and i'm sure we will try to make it if not as good as in person but as best as we can do virtually best wishes and looking forward to being connected with each one of you thank you dear students i hope you are all preparing for the new academic session 2021 i am very happy to meet you all through this virtual forum and i am sure we'll be meeting virtually in the days to come also this is a time to test different theories what we have learned in the past with reference to education the research says there are four different methods of learning first learning by self second learning from others third learning from the experience of others and finally learning through formal education today we are not going to come to the campus to meet the faculty members and other facilities available here 
to learn formally. So all the four components are likely to assume the equal significance in, during this lockdown period. All of us know there are 10 different styles of uh, learning. Online and blended learning provides the scope for all these 10 different styles and we can learn different concepts and principles seamlessly as good as say, anyone on this year. And what we are seeing today with respect to online learning is only the tip of the iceberg. Today we have artificial intelligence, augmented reality, virtual reality and all these emerging areas are con likely to contribute to online learning in a big way in the years to come. Let us all face the changes and learn the essential. All the best. Take your book. Read the first chapter. This is a sentence you must have heard for a long time and could be replaced by click on the link, follow the instructions on your laptop. E-learning is not the next big thing, but it is the now big thing. To make the best out of it, the involvement from both the ends are essential, be it a faculty or a student. Dear students, this is the time to step onto the plate, get motivated, commit yourself, learn a new skill and perform better. Innovative learning models are springing up in the educational field, providing students with varied opportunities to self-design themselves in the education to best suit them. As a teachers, we do have the responsibility to incorporate these uh, upcoming technologies in the curriculum. An education media without any time and location constraints obviously paves opportunities to the teachers as well as the students and this will definitely create a progressive development together. It is always challenging to know the needs of the market and this platform has been created to coordinate the new learning experience. Technology is always a boom when used effectively. This platform has been created to transform the normal classes to know and learn more. I'm excited about learning online as it gives me more flexibility. In addition to this, I will be able to control my study environment which will ultimately help to contribute more to my subjects. Also, it attracts me in terms of collaborating with my peers and study online with them virtually together. Glad to know you were a part of this amazing journey, Moni. By the way, what's new and exciting about this online semester? Technology is definitely going to change the ways of work sooner than we thought. Now, I ask Dr. Vinoba Stephen, Head Academic Innovations, to present the Academic Calendar 2020. Students, I am Dr. Vinoha Stephen, Head Academic Innovations of KCT. I am happy to announce the academic plans for the coming semester. Uh, but before going into the uh, actual academic plans for the coming semester, I would like to describe how if the semester were, uh, were to be conducted uh, in a face-to-face -face mode in the campus. Now, uh, typically the semester would have started at July and it would have uh, completed in November and there would have been 15 uh, weeks of instruction and at the end of 15 weeks, uh, say in November and December that would have been an end semester exams. Uh, but uh, this, these are COVID times and therefore uh, uh, there we have to modify our semester structure. Now how have we modified the semester structure is we have uh, uh, the semester will be running in cycles and in each cycle there will be two courses and these two courses uh, will run for about five weeks. Now that is the major change between the usual uh, semester and this online semester. Now uh, these two courses uh, have been uh, chosen such that one will be an easy course and one will be a difficult course so that uh, you are able to balance your studies and uh, you will also have to carefully remember that these courses will be happening uh, in a fast mode. Uh, so instead of uh, studying the courses across the semester for about 15 weeks, now you will be studying it uh, in a focused manner for about 5 weeks. Uh, now uh, typically the timetable used to be uh, 30, you know, uh, it will be around 20 to 30 hours per week but in this online semester we have uh, managed it such that it will be only about 15 hours per week so you will have ample amount of time to concentrate in a focused manner and study the uh, all the topics of the uh, courses now uh, of these 15 hours 
uh, nine hours will be live sessions uh, with the faculty members who will be coming live on MS Teams, uh, which is actually a, a wonderful ecosystem for collaboration. Now, as you can easily gather from the name uh, Teams, now Teams is a Microsoft product that is actually meant for collaboration. So it means that you can just collaborate as a, as a class uh, and along with your uh, course teacher uh, to uh, really gain an in-depth understanding of the subject. Now, uh, uh, faculty members will, will also be posting six hours of recorded lectures per week in an environment that is known as a class one node. Again, it is uh, very closely integrated with the teams. Uh, so uh, you can, what is the advantage of these recorded lectures is now you can actually uh, watch these lectures anytime you want. Uh, you can just, uh, these will be short videos so that you can quickly understand a topic within a short time. You can watch it early morning, you can just watch it uh, whenever you get the time and you can complete it. But the thing is you will have to uh, uh, watch these lectures regularly. So I uh, request all of you to uh, ensure that you have a dedicated time each day uh, to watch these lectures and also complete any assignments or homework problems or uh, any activity the student, the faculty member uh, is going to give you uh, such that you will, uh, you will, you will continue to uh, learn at, uh, 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 in the that week itself. At the end of the week, uh, faculty members will be conducting a weekly test. Now, typically, you used to we used to have a, a two uh, continuous assessment tests. Say after two and a half weeks, we used to have one continuous assessment test, and after uh, the second half of the syllabus, there will be another continuous assessment test, and then we'll have an end semester test. Now, to reduce uh, the stress on the test, we have uh, included the tests uh, every week, so that there will be a smaller portions for you to concentrate and you can easily uh, take those tests uh, and uh, you can uh, uh, I mean consolidate your learning. So uh, this is how the entire semester has been planned. So uh, it's actually very exciting. It's, uh, it's a very exciting uh, uh, new environment uh, for learning and also uh, faculty members are really, uh, it's also new to all of us uh, faculty members and we are all putting uh, together uh, faculty members are recording and putting together lots of activities to keep you engaged, to work, to help you work in teams, uh, such that uh, it's a wonderful uh, learning experience for you in the coming semester. Uh, so I just want to leave you with uh, uh, three uh, important things you can keep in mind. One thing, have a dedicated time uh, each day, uh, such that you are just following all the lectures. And second, uh, do complete all the activities and assignments, and uh, also do not uh, fail to watch any of the recorded lectures that the faculty members will be posting and of course these are very uh, trying and difficult times uh, first priority is uh, all of you should take care of your health so uh, thank you uh, and uh, hope uh, all of you will have a wonderful uh, learning experience in the coming summer thank you sir our immediate focus will be to tackle challenges which have emerged in this pandemic so that the year after coronavirus will have pathways to fresh beginnings Looking forward to engaging learning in this new semester cycle. This is Aditya Kabra and Monisha Tangam signing off from Kumaraguru Online Education Code Launch. Keep, Keep learning, learning, stay, stay home, home, stay safe. safe.